One more thing that I want to share with you tonight. One last thing. It's a relic from my childhood. And I brought that with me. It's right here. When I was a kid, I kept all my toys in shoe boxes just like this. And I kept them all on the shelf and I would name and label all of them so I know what, to, what I could play with. But you folks are going to tell me what's in the box. This is a game I like to call, What's in the Box? But it's all right, it's, it's going to be very easy. I've got these four attribute cards that we're going to use to build what's in that box today. There's an animal card, a, a clothing card, a color card, and an accessory card. And the way I choose people, I've got a paper ball. If it comes at you, catch it. If it comes near you, catch it. If it falls on the floor, pick it up. <laughs> You've seen this before. Perfect. I'm going to start with you. Catch the ball. Perfect. You aren't going to start the game, but you are going to pick someone else in the room by throwing that out. But instead of throwing it out from there, can you please join me up here? Give him a big round of applause. Your name one more time. I did Dave. Dave. Dave, you're going to make eye contact with the people so that we don't have a paper ball pelting people in the face. Because that's what Steve would do, not what Dave would do. Underhand to anybody in the room, they're going to start us off by choosing an animal for the box. What is your name, sir? Robert. Robert. Robert, you're an incredible catch. Thank you. But you know what? Chris is going to pick it up. It's to the left of his left foot. He's going to hand it back to you. Thank you very much, Chris. We appreciate that. Robert. There are six items on this card. Here's how the game works. I'm going to name six numbers. You're going to name a number back to me, one through six. So okay. you're ready to play? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Name a number one through six. Five. Five. Are you happy that's your choice and not yes. my choice? Did you see what I did, Dave? Mm -hmm. No. I know you saw it. I know you're trying to keep it down, but you didn't see, did you? When I said one, two, three, four, five, six, I flashed the five fingers up here like that, subtly influencing you and edging you towards the number five. You get one opportunity, one opportunity only to change your mind now. You don't have to. You can stick with five if you like. I but I want you to be sure that this was your decision and not mine. Robert, what do you want to change it to? Definitely number one. Definitely number one. Really? <laughs> Nobody ever changes their mind when I ask that. <laughs> number one. Number one. Not number five. Definitely not five. Could I convince you to change it back? No. Because five would have been awesome. <laughs> uh, five would have been a, a rabbit. A rabbit. And I'm a magician, so rabbit makes sense. No? Shit. Uh, um, here, Dave, just do me a favor. Verify number one. I know she had the glasses ready to go. Those are all different. Yes, they are. He could have had a bear, a horse, a frog, a rabbit, or a hamster. Good idea. I know she didn't go for the hamster. Nice loud voice. Oh, what did he go for? Cat. Cat. Steve would have gone for the hamster. Cat. <laughs> so we have a cat in the box. Cat in the box. Can you toss that to somebody else? A cat in a box. A cat in a box. Anybody else? Who's got it? Who's got it? What is your name, sir? Tom. Nice to meet you, Tom. Thanks for playing. Game's going to work the same way. I need a piece of clothing for the rabbit that's in the box. A piece of clothing. No, I'm sorry. For the cat. For Robert's cat. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to name six numbers. You're going to come back with a number on the card. We'll go with whatever's next to that number. Are you ready to play? Ready? Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, two, one. Five, four, three, two, five, six. One, two, three, two, one. Go. Two. That's how many. I repeated the number two a couple you times. That. You heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to stick with two? You get one opportunity to change your mind. That's what I thought you'd do. Number two. You could have had uh, a boots. You could have had tie, earrings, or a coat. You sure you want two? Could have had a collar, which would have made a lot more sense for the cat. You want to change? This is like the last thing we were going to do tonight, too. I don't know. Uh, you don't want to change? No. So just verify, those are all different, right? There's yeah. boots, collar, tie, ear, nice loud voice. What did he put on my cat? Bikini. A bikini. Yeah. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Florida. <laughs> you have a lot of cats going to the pool, do you? <laughs> no. If it was a gator, I'd understand, but then I'd just be a little freaked out. That's just wrong. Toss that to anybody else in the room. Anybody else at all. We have two more. We need a color and accessory. What is your name, sir? Jeff. Jeff, would you mind joining me up here? Big round for Jeff. I'll take that back from you. Just the rubbish. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Thanks very much. I need a color and accessory. Which would you like to go for, the color or the accessory? The accessory. The accessory. That means you're stuck with the color. Okay. Sorry, it's just what's left over. I want you both to think of a number one through six, but not before I say them out loud. Don't say it out loud, just think it in your mind. I don't even want to know what you're thinking of. Ready? Uh -huh. 
Try not to let me influence you. 44444. 4444. <laughs> <laughs> four, four, four. This is a technique I like to call don't think of the pink elephant. What do you do? Huh. Yeah, that's what you have to. <laughs> Did you go for the number four? No. Did you go for the number four? No. Oh. Okay, it doesn't really matter to me. Just look up whatever's next to your color. Remember that color. Look up whatever's next to your accessory. Remember that accessory. You got your color? Uh -huh. Do you have your accessory? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, you're making me nervous now. <laughs> That's all right. Then. <laughs> you didn't go for number four, though. No. What color did you go for? Red. Red. I have a red bikini <laughs> wearing cats. What accessory did we go for? Face. I think it was face harness. A face harness. <laughs> <laughs> you hang out with Steve, don't you? <laughs> so, um, so, like, uh, so you're basically putting a gag in the cat's mouth, is what you're saying. Um, face harness. <laughs> Not like a muzzle either. A face harness. Um, <laughs> Odd child. <laughs> like the full head wrap. I did mention this from my childhood, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> what kind of childhood do you think I had? If, if, if you had to name such a monstrosity, what would you name it? What would you name a face harness, red bikini wearing cat? Pineapple. <laughs> there really is no other choice, is there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm never going to eat pineapple the same way again. I, I kid you not, before the show, Sarah and I were just over here at the little restaurant and she said, do you want pineapple before the show? <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. Give Dave a big round of applause. Thank you very, very much. And thank you, it was Robert. Jeffrey. Give Jeffrey a big round of applause as well. <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> I, did, <laughs> I do want to show you what's in this box. And uh, we'll just move this front and center so I don't feel awkward finishing a show off to the side. What the hell was that? <laughs> was that somebody's phone? <laughs> that was, did, it, did you hear that too? Yeah. I thought it was only me. Uh, if I opened this box and there was a cat in the box, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. One in six. If I opened that box and it was uh, wearing anything red, <laughs> that would be, that'd be cool. But if it was wearing a bikini and a face, face harness, Thank you so much for coming, by the way. Actually, you know, I had a friend of mine make an artist representation of this toy, because this is a little bit weird. It's hard to see. So I brought a larger version. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Yes. Brought a lot of larger version. Yeah. Check this out. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cat. <laughs> It is wearing a red face harness. <laughs> and it's wearing a bikini, check it out! One bikini, two bikini, three bikini. I'm glad you weren't expecting me to step out from behind that with a bikini on. That would have been weird. No, but believe it or not, people, people think that I have like 1,292 different posters in that thing. That's consequently how many different random orientations you can do six times, six times, six factor. Never mind, you don't care. That's why I have this. I have the actual thing from my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And I really did keep these in these boxes. And it really is a little cat wearing a face harness <laughs> and a red bikini. Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I know what you're thinking. You want to know what else is inside the box, right? What his name is. And there is one more thing inside this box. Because when I was a kid, I kept all my stuff in shoe boxes. And I gave them all names. And I always kept a name tag in the box. Every toy had a name. And there is one more thing inside this box. And only one more thing. And this is his name tag. And you named him something. <laughs> and the guy wearing the fruit shirt, interestingly enough, went for pineapple. You didn't get the watermelon memo? No, no. <laughs> Folks, I want to thank you very, very much. You've been a great crowd. I've had a lot of fun with you. It's been uh, great coming here, playing with you all the way from Detroit. And I give you pineapple.
Thank you very much. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name's George Tate. That's fuck. And thank you so very much. Oh, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more thing before I let you go. I always like to leave my audiences with this. Don't ever trust what you see. Seeing is never believing. Because you are all fooled by one very important thing, which isn't even important at all. Because these aren't even real. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. You've been great.